No Drama Llama and a Missed Catch, Friday's Best Photos to view the full article, click the first link in the description below, there are many variations of the Maxim Tidy Desk, Tidy Mind. And, though I am somewhat bastardizing Newton's third law of motion here, an untidy desk should therefore accompany an untidy mind. While I am not sure of the causal relationship, I definitely have both of those. To avoid becoming a local newspaper story of a hoarder, photographs surrounded by copies of the same local newspaper with previous stories of hoarders a sort of recurring drost effect of hoarders, if you will I practice tidiness. I find it very boring and, though we all find many things boring, my psychiatrist is convinced I have ADHD. My brain never has waves, but storms. So, things that bore me I find almost impossible to do. Setting up a direct debit is one of the most difficult things in the world for me, although it takes approximately 4 minutes and can mean the difference between receiving a court summons and not. I used to kick the idea of tidying under the bed, shove it to the back of the wardrobe. Shun it into another room. Throw a blanket over it. But if I am not reformed, then I am reforming. Because I have learned that a clean and tidy home is one of the most happy making things. It is still pleasing if someone else is responsible, a professional cleaner, a partner, etc., but actually doing the graft and then living with, in the best sense, the result is a feeling I love. I feel genuine pride when a drawer can slide smoothly into my desk rather than jamming, overstuffed with papers. Or when I know I am sitting on my sofa, minus 9000 receipts and corners of Doritos between the cushions. I don't understand how cleaning has become a popular genre on Instagram, but I have watched certain stain removal tutorials on YouTube. There are entire forums full of tricks on how to clean windows without streaks, passed down through generations. I still find cleaning dull, but once I get into it, at least I am fully focused on how fragrant the finish will. There are many variations of the Maxim Tidy Desk, Tidy Mind and, though I am somewhat bastardizing Newton's third law of motion here. An untidy desk should therefore accompany an untidy mind to view the full article, click the first link in the description below.